I just crashed my car, I'm already fixing it, but I still had time to watch the last video of Ring Banana. What is your excuse? <laughs> Last week you've seen what the ring banana is, why we bought it and what we bought it for. Now it's time to answer the question nobody's brave enough to ask publicly but everybody wants to know about privately texting us, sending us private messages. Why did the car have dicks painted on top of it? Costas will answer this question and also this week will be the last time you will ever hear the 50 euro rental joke. I don't want to see anyone anymore coming here asking for that car. It's my car, it's not for rent, for any money. I mean, okay, 2,000 euros, I give it to you. and I've been here in, for the last, uh, so basically the key has not been in the ignition for uh, literally five minutes and has been lost. Since we are really keen on Murphy's law here at RSA, as soon as I lost the key, the fucking snow storm came and now there is five centimeters of, uh, of snow on the ground. And we have to go and set... Now we have to go and set a tiny, tiny key without any fob or anything. <laughs> I need a lighter. Really? Yeah. How is it frozen in, in five minutes? Because there is nothing that is going how it's supposed to be going apart. Fuck! I was with the fucking top down. <laughs> and I was enjoying a beautiful night, beautiful stars. And now I lose my key. At the same moment I lose my key, a fucking thunderstorm comes and now there's five centimeters of snow on the ground. I mean, fuck! Fuck, let's talk about the plan B. What, what happens if I never gonna find my key? You just leave it open with hot wire and you, every time you do it like uh, Duke of Hazard style, American style. Actually, I'm all into that. It's a matter of opening the boot then. How do you open the boot? Fuck the boot. Fuck the boot. <laughs> Apparently there is an unwritten rule in the team shitbox uh, thing that says that uh, you cannot lose the keys of your car. And when that happens... Twice. You're fucked. And twice. actually it happened twice to the guy. And I found the keys uh, thrown in the middle of the, of the workshop. The problem is that Gab lost his key for the second time. First time it was perfectly cool, everyone said for it. We all thought that he's a bit of an idiot because he actually lost it the first day that he got the car. He lost his key. In the snow. Like, literally the first thing he did getting the car is losing the key. So we thought, second time, there has to be a small punishment. And, uh, but that was in the snow, right? Correct, correct, in the snow, that yeah, day. Yeah. Like, he bought the car, we came here and he lost in the middle of the snow. Yeah, he yeah. was very lucky and he found the same day. However, this time he didn't find the same day. And the second day. And, and he's actually day. he's actually ready to literally he's ready to rip the car off, remove the, the door he handle. He started already. Actually, you can see that he he has removed stuff because he so, wants to get the part number and eventually make a like a. a you can literally see that. that he's ready to destroy the car just to get just to get uh, his opening doors back. <coughs> that, uh, God, the gap that didn't happen. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna make him a very cool joke. We're gonna add uh, a couple of dicks in the car with this beautiful pen and then we're gonna leave it parked uh, in the main car park with a sign for rent and we hope we try to actually make the banana famous. Let's get, uh, let's get rolling, let's get cooking. 
we are gonna add uh, an artwork based on uh, flowing cocks. So we're gonna try to get the, the curves of the car and actually implement the design on the original Mazda lines. I hope Mazda engineers will be very proud with what we're about to do. Huh? <laughs> like to tell uh, the owner of this beautiful car? I would like to say to Gab that this is not done with any bad intention. This is not done to ridicule you or to harm your uh, property. This is done with the maximum respect. And I just want to give you a big token of my friendship. The biggest token of my friendship is there on the door, so he can actually see. And this is actually the only thing I want. I want him to understand that this I do with the best of intentions. We used a very complicated uh, way to do our cocks, where it's a combo of uh, dry and wet parts, so the cocks actually liquefy and blend in with the car. So this is a very, very advanced technique that they use in very specific art schools, including the famous art school of Nürburgring, which uh, for years is known for the cocks uh, that are being painted in everything that can be painted. Usually, usually the Germans prefer to paint cocks on the concrete, on the tarmac, but we are going against the German tradition and we are putting cocks in the cars, which is even cooler than putting cocks on the nose slifer. So, it's also, this is perfect because this is the car of uh, the right guy. We always thought that Piana was a cock. <laughs> And actually, uh, you have to get this small detail, you have to film from here, so the dick is done in the opposite way. So, you get in the car, you open, and you get a dick in your face. <laughs> if that is not cool, I don't know what it is. Drive the banana. Be a banana. Eat the banana. You can do it. This is the ring banana lifestyle.